a story you will only see here on ABC Action News. Detectives are looking for a man who attacked a grandmother at a local dog park. ABC Action News reporter Michael Paluska looks at how the woman's quick actions may help get justice. And he's like, what the F can you do about it? He just openly, you know, phew. Terry Pischek's forehead is swollen, her head still pounding. He just backhanded me right in the face. Her mind still racing. I can't get it off my mind because these people terrorized verbally in the park, continued it outside the park. On Tuesday, Pischek says this man and woman complained that her yellow lab Rocco was too aggressive, biting their dog's ear. When she apologized and realized it was just dogs being dogs, she says the couple got even madder. And she says, well, you don't effing need to be in the park. You need to take your effing dog out of the park. And she says, well, you need to give me your effing uh, information, personal information. Peace Check now thinks they were trying to target her. When she didn't fall for it, they kept yelling at her. Peace Check had enough. I was shocked. Tried to leave, but the man had her dog rascal by the collar. Camera time. My phone came out. He took off, letting her dog out of the gate. When she caught up to her dog, she says the man turned his attention on her. So to be hit that hard by a total stranger, it's actually traumatizing. Peace Check says after the man hit her, he ran through these bushes. He's jumped in his car and he backed out. He went all the way to the end, but he didn't exit. Instead, he waited for her to come out. As she's taking photos, he accelerated towards her. She jumped behind a car, and that's why she only got a partial plate. It felt like they're, they're going to try to kill me. Rascal in one hand, phone in the other. She snapped away. Hillsborough County investigators asking anyone who knows who the couple is in this photo to give them a call. In Tampa, Michael Paluska, ABC Action News.